day two, NaNoWriMo. I'm feeling better about today just because I wasn't up all night with a daughter throwing up. So, does anybody else, let's just, let's just have real life talk here. Those of you who have kids, okay, I lived in this house for 10 years. We bought this little cottage and fixed it up. Love it. But, pet peeve, I'm curious if anybody else has this problem. Um, I cannot get my children to close the freaking pantry. Like, legit 10 years. 10 years. Pantry door, open, wide open. Yeah, I don't know. They close all the other doors. Anyway, little rant there. I love them though. Anyways, back to NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo talk. Today's day two. I downloaded Scrivener. Um, I've spent the last <laughs> 30 minutes at least basically just prepping my Scrivener formatting. And now I'm going to input all the writing that I've done yesterday, which will end up being more words because as I'm typing, ideas come, so I'm, I'm adding to it. So it currently sits at 15, what did I say my total was? 1578. So I did not get my 2000 that I wanted yesterday, but I had so much going on that I'm happy with the 15. I know that I will have other times where I'm gonna spend late night hours working, so I'm not worried about it right now. I might be later, but right now I'm not. Um, I'm on my second cup of coffee, and yeah, I'm gonna get this, get this um, first bit of writing and put it in, and then start a new chapter. Yay! All right, I'll, and I'll show you guys how I kind of do my Scrivener. It's super simple. Let me see. I might do that right now. Okay, this is probably going to be like really bad lighting, lighting and really blaring. So I don't even do the like folders that a lot of people have um, for their chapters. I just have it as text. So I've got my 23 chapters. I've separated them in the different sections, main events that are going to happen throughout. Um... And yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna input all of this into there and then I'll keep you guys updated on how writing goes today. My favorite, my favorite sentence out of writing yesterday, the room smelled of ink and antiseptic. That's like my favorite sentence from yesterday. All right, time to type. Okay, two hours later. Is that right? Yeah, about two hours later with many distractions and eating lunch, I'm finally all typed in to Scribner, the words that I wrote yesterday. So I also added some words. So my total, rather than being 1578, ended up being 2044. Um, I will be counting the extra, cause I already wrote in 1578 in my bullet journal for what I got yesterday. So I'm gonna add the extra words to today's word count and share the total. So I'm gonna put this down because as much fun as that was, which I did actually have fun, like retyping it in, it made me love my story even more. And I got to add more stuff. And the way that I work, honestly, 50,000, I'm the type of writer who I know a lot of people cut most of their first draft um, because a lot of it ends up being, I don't even know the words, but a lot a lot of people get like 70,000 words, not for NaNoWriMo, but like their novel ends up being a certain amount and then they like throw away half of it. I'm the opposite. I tend to my first draft, which I love Kate Cavanaugh, how she calls it her zero draft. I tend to like tell the story in the most basic form and then my favorite thing is to go back and do the, I guess, the first official draft or the rewrite. I, I like calling it the rewrite. I don't, I don't know. I have this issue with drafts. I don't know why. So my first phase is creating the skeleton, so to speak. My second rewrite is adding the meat. So you got the bones, then you add the meat 
and then you do the editing. Um, so as an example, the novel that I did publish, which I'm dealing with my feelings around that and sharing, sharing it with everyone, but it started out the Bones version, it was a nano novel in 2011, and the Bones version was 50,000 words, and then the novel ended up being like 74,000 words, and it was a um, young adult, new adult, little cozy romance. Um, so, I don't know why I went off on that tangent, probably because I'm just so excited to like have everything typed in. All right, so I'm at 2,000 words total, not for today, but total. Um, today's word count would probably be close to fifth, close to 500 so far, and it's 12:30. So we just, my husband and I, just finished eating. One of our sweet friends that was at our party last night um, came by and dropped off some breakfast burritos. So we just had a breakfast burrito, and now we're gonna go back outside and sit at our fire because it was it was a crazy fire. I thought about like filming and vlogging, but I was, I have this weird um, struggle between capturing the moments and the memories and living them like without my phone in hand and all that. So yesterday I lived into my, our party and it was crazy. And just so you guys know, like every party we have, the fire department shows up, the sheriff shows up and they know us because they show up every party we have. Um, we are not in city limits, so we can have fires and we do it legally. So we have, we do all the precautions, keep it controlled and all that, but the people around us are not in county. And so people tend to get panicked when they see our bonfire ignite. Um, so yeah, we restarted the fire this morning. So he's out there right now and I'm gonna go sit at the fire, maybe film a little bit of that, um, next day fire with you and take a break and then come back to this and hopefully get 1500 words because I'm kind of hitting or I'm kind of going for 2000 a day is like my big goal but obviously I just want to stay on track to get my 50,000 words in for nano but yeah sitting at the fire is part of my self-care so I'm curious what you do for self-care during NaNoWriMo I can't think of a better place to sit and do some writing than the leftover ash and rubble from last night's fire. I've got my handbook for the recently deceased that I'm actually, I decided not to do the little black book, the little pocket book for my poems. I'm moving into this. I had it for my costume, which was so fun being Lydia from Beetlejuice and this is gonna hold my poetry. So I'm sitting here working on my three poems because I'm doing three poems a day plus nano. <laughs> and poem one, this is what my poetry looks like, you guys. Lots of words scratched out, very messy. Poem one is done for today. I have two more plus 1,500 words to write, but it's gonna happen and until it does, I'm going to enjoy every little moment of magic in this day. Final word count for day two, 1472, for a total of 3,050. So I'm supposed to be here on day two, 3,334. Didn't get it, but that's okay. I did get my three poems in, and I'm still pretty happy. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I will have a lot more time to write because I'll be, there won't be stuff going on. Um, so I'm not worried at this point. I'm still loving the story. Oh, I need to check off day two. And yeah, so, all right, let's see what day three has in store.